Hi guys, so before I get into this video, I do want to quickly say that I am releasing a set of prints for these paintings and a portion of the proceeds are going to go to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So if you would like to make a donation, you can do so in the form of buying one of these prints and you can safely know that a portion of that will be donated to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So you can get those prints through my store Envy store, which I have a link to in the description below. So now let's get into this painting. So as you guys know, I am doing a month long video series of different cystic fibrosis inspired videos. And part of that, I also wanted to release a series of cystic fibrosis inspired paintings. So this is one out of four paintings that I am doing to help promote awareness for cystic fibrosis. And the feeling I wanted to portray in this one is that I often feel that my lungs kind of are an ecosystem of their own. So I wanted to portray how I always feel like there's something inside my lungs. Like I never feel quite f free, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I never quite feel like my lungs are my own. I feel like they're just kind of like a house for bacteria and infection. So I wanted to portray that in a slightly more aesthetically pleasing way. So that's why I have the girl and she's kind of like tearing at her skin, um, but there are flowers growing out of her instead. Um, so that's why I did this painting how I did. So now to the main part of the video that I wanted to talk about. So. A lot of you guys know that I have cystic fibrosis, but I know a lot of you don't really know what that means. And I didn't want to make a video, oh, this is what cystic fibrosis is. This is the medical terminology for this and medical terminology for that. Because honestly, you guys can go to Google and find all of that information yourself. Um, if you want to learn more about cystic fibrosis, I highly encourage you to go to Google and do some research on your own. Because this video, I wanted to talk to you uh, guys more about what it's like to live with cystic fibrosis and some information that you can't really find online. So I also don't want this video to be a huge downer also. Um, so I'm going to try to be light about it. So some things about cystic fibrosis, very quick overview. Um, I often have mucus in my lungs that I cannot get rid of. And part of that means that I'm always coughing. Like, I am in a constant state of coughing. And it's not necessarily a bad thing because coughing can be really good because it helps me expel some of that mucus in my body. So I will often be like at a social event or with friends and I just go into a coughing fit. And it is equal parts hilarious and annoying how people react to it because some people treat me like I'm the plague and will stay very far away from me. And other people treat me like I'm literally dying and they're like, oh my God, are you okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? Oh my God. And they like freak out. <coughs> but honestly, coughing is so normal for me. I don't even know half the time that I'm coughing. So it's kind of funny to watch people's reactions because I guess... It's not a normal thing to be coughing all the time. So like my close friends know that about me and they're really chill about it now. Um, but it's whenever I'm hanging with new people or in like a new social circle. It's kind of funny. Um, another thing about having cystic fibrosis um, is that I'm also always coughing up mucus, which sounds just as gross as it is. Um, Part of the disease is, like I said, there's mucus always in my lungs. So whenever I can, I need to expel it from my body. And the easiest way to do that is to cough it up. So <laughs> I will often be actually in like mid conversation with somebody and then I'll have a coughing fit. And then all of a sudden I have to run to get like a tissue because I need to actually expel mucus from my lungs. And it's really gross. Like, I'm laughing about it because it's also kind of funny, but it's also like really, really gross. And it kind of takes people, um, like, uh, there's like a learning curve for them to be comfortable with the fact that I just have to like sometimes kind of go like spit up. But anyway, 
Um, another thing along that same vein, there will often be mornings where I wake up and then I go into coughing fits and these coughing fits can be so extremely violent that they actually make me throw up. So I don't know if any of you guys have coughed so hard that you've actually vomited mucus before, um, but it's not really a fun thing. And unfortunately, that's something that has been happening more and more often. Um, another interesting thing about CF is that it is a progressive disease. So it's kind of always changing and I have new symptoms all the time and it's always getting worse. Um, so one of those things that I've noticed that is getting worse is the vomit inducing cough, which let me tell you, it's not a fun thing. Um, but all of these things that I'm talking about also, I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining or anything because honestly, I have dealt with these things for so long, so incredibly long that it's just part of my life and I never want to look for sympathy. That's actually one of my biggest pet peeves is when people act like really sympathetic. Um, I actually have an acquaintance that I know and whenever I go into a coughing fit, she looks at me and she goes, oh, poor baby. And it is the worst thing, guys. Nothing makes me see red faster than someone looking at me and saying, oh, poor baby, because I'm coughing. Oh, it makes me, oh, it makes me so angry. I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Anyway, moving on. So by making these videos, I don't want to seem like I'm looking for sympathy. All I want to do is spread awareness and have people be aware of what goes on with cystic fibrosis. Um, because honestly, this is just like my life. I don't think that I am any like worse off than anyone else or that I suffer more than anyone else. Everyone has like their things that they deal with. And this is just something of mine that I deal with. Um, another thing that kind of irks me is when people act like I'm an inspiration for doing things that everyone else can do. So an example of this is I, oh gosh, I will like go out and do conventions and stuff or even work like a job. I work a job and I do conventions and some people act like that is just like the most groundbreaking thing ever, not because of my artistic talent or not because I work necessarily hard, but they think it's amazing just because I do it because I'm sick. So that is something that always, always, always irks me is when people act like I'm special for doing something that everything else does, not because of my talent or not because of my hard work, but just because I do it because I'm sick. So I know that is something that a lot of chronically ill people deal with, and I kind of want to make a video like just going deeper into that, but ooh, ooh, it irks me, irks me so much. Like, enjoy me for my art, enjoy me for my personality, but don't enjoy me just because I'm sick, you know? Or don't think I'm special just because I'm sick. That is something that will always irritate me. Anyway, so those are some things that I deal with on a daily basis about having cystic fibrosis. I hope it was a little bit eye-opening for you. I hope you learned some things and please consider buying a print of this painting or any of the other paintings I will be releasing this month because a portion of all the proceeds are going to the cystic fibrosis fundraiser that I'm doing and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, you can get prints in my store below and thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!